And welcome everybody to the home of the Kent Lions for uh, this game against the Canterbury Saints. We are delighted to be with you. I'm Gary Thorne, along with Damian DeJulian. And for the matter of transparency, we should get out of the way right away. <laughs> but, uh, Damian's son is Gio DeJulian, who will be playing for Kent, centering the first line. And he is my grandson. <laughs> so we, we have an interest in this game beyond just the game. Yes, we do. And we're excited to be here and uh, looking forward to a great game between two great teams. Uh, Canterbury comes in ranked number one in the small school bracket of the New England Championship right now. Uh, Kent uh, teetering between four and five in the large school bracket. Uh, both uh, eyeing playoff spots in these last couple weeks of the season. So it should be a great game, a great rivalry. Right down Route 7. We could call it the Route 7 rivalry, I guess. And uh, here we go. Breakaways, two on two the other way. It's open. Backhander save made. Oh, what a chance. Thought the goal was scored and did. It went in. It got by. And a one nothing lead. That was initially stopped and then poked it on a rebound. Yeah, I thought Hopewell had it in his glove and somehow squirted out and went in the net. I was with you, Gary, on that. I thought he saved it. Whistle did not blow. Uh, and the goal went in after a great chance down one end for Kent. Uh, wow. Canterbury comes right back and scores. Jackson Powers. Bowers took that initial shot. He was celebrating while the puck was still sitting in the blue and then got it back and they were able to put it home. Boy, you can see how this team can fly. Hard shot along the ice. Kent comes back the other way. The drop pass into the middle. Shot and the save made. Rebound came out deep. And they'll fly it back up the other way. They don't take any time. Moving over the red line. Got a round. backhander scores! Oh, what a shot on the backhander. Got the goaltender moving. And Duncan Stewart will pick it up. And it is 2-0. Usually how it happens, one chance down one end, a big rebound, but Canterbury picked it up, came all the way back around, and Stewart, with a beautiful move, went to his back end, went five hole on Hopewell after Hopewell made a couple of huge saves down here just before that. A huge goal for Canterbury, puts him up 2-0. Duncan Stewart centers that second line. That'll be his 13th goal of the year and his 32nd point. And we'll give Canterbury the early 2-0 lead with 9.08 left to go here in the first period. That left winger, Brian Stratton, leads this team in everything with 19 goals, 22 assists, 41 points offensively. He's their leader, number eight on that first line. Third back up. Can't try to get on the board here. Down 2-0. Three and a half to go. Centering pass. Score! And it's the jump! Johnny Cash is playing for the Lions. Beautiful play started with a breakout pass uh, from 22 Poirier up to Mahar, who does a nice little give to Roberts over to DeJulian for the tap in. Really a nice play from the defensive zone on out and gets Kent right back in this game. Big goal to make it a 2 1 Canterbury lead with uh, 323 left to go in the period. Pulled up against the wall if they can keep it there. There's a shot, save deflected. That one went off the stick to the near side. That shot deflected out in front. Another good chance down low that time. Jack Olson right in front of the net for the deflected chance. And, and Ken almost had a break there on the coming out of the box, and here he is. In front, score! Just as the penalty expired, Jack Roberts. And it's 2-2. Two to two. Johnny Cash again. Roberts out of the box. Almost had a breakaway coming out of the box. Was able to reestablish possession after that. Come around and sift one top corner. A beautiful shot by Roberts to tie this game after a great kill by Kent. A penalty kill can uh, usually spur on um, some great momentum and it did right there. Great play by Roberts sticking with that puck after missing the breakaway opportunity. And a beautiful shot to tie this game up. Roberts gets his ninth of the year and his 28th point. He's played a very strong game. Stump going into the zone on the far side. Roberts uh, had 
pretty good shot put on and you can see how physical both teams are getting now we're that close to getting another penalty <laughs> yes we are <laughs> that close 27 seconds left here on the four and four shot off the crossbar and it ends up going up and over jackson powers real close ring the bell yeah roberts with another nice opportunity a top shelf shot as well off the crossbar as you said, a couple of physical plays by Roberts. Comes back with a nice offensive bit as well. So quite a shift for number 17 in dark blue. Because there was no whistle, and they were still killing a penalty, obviously. Walsh's glove is still out there in the far end. Here's the break. Shot and score! Oh, what a game for Jack Roberts! He has got a shorthanded goal! Roberts, Johnny on the spot tonight. Another break in all alone and a beautiful top shelf shot. His really his third. He hit the crossbar in one. That's his third beauty of the night. Two of them have gone in for goals. And a, and a change in momentum here. Kent going down two to nothing and now find themselves up three to two after a shorthanded goal. A great play by Roberts, who's having himself a heck of a game here on senior night. Part of that may be that hit and the non-call down at the other end. I mean, Kent was really fired up that no call was made on that hit and it and blasted back. I mean, a great shot here by Mahar. Right back into the zone. Canterbury in the line. Change down the middle. Backhander scores! Tremendous move on the backhand chance. Duncan Stewart, who's having a game, puts one home, and he's got two. Yeah, Stewart with his second goal, his second backhand goal, and a beautiful how-do-you-do, dipsy-do dangle, and goes to his backhand and goes top shelf to tie this game at three after a really nice bid down this end by DeJulian. They come right back, get their own bid, and score, and this game is not at a three. What a hockey game we have here going up and down the ice. They are rocking. Duncan Stewart, two goals on the night. He's got 14 on the year. Seconds left to go. Play going on with the clock running down in a hurry. Beverly off the faceoff. Canterbury got it, lost it, overskated. In, shot, save, rebound, score! They turn it up, Sam Beverly puts it on. sure if it was on purpose I think it was Finn Keon with a beautiful shot pass off the pads of the goalie for Canterbury and Pefferly right there to bury the rebound but a beautiful play and a beautiful assist by Finn on that one shooting it off the pads right onto the stick of Pefferly who makes no mistake about it and buries it, and we're tied at four, just like that. Great shot. Pepperly picking up goal number eight on the year. And Pepperly's got a, got a tying goal with 6.17 left to go. As well as Heslin. So the line changes continue here for Canterbury. Back out of the zone. It's flipped ahead. As Julian got it up, Mahar. Mahar looking to center it. Did. Score! <laughs> home his second goal of the night and 20th goal of the season a big benchmark for him scoring 20 goals first time in his career and that's always a feather in a prep school player's cap to get to 20 or at any level to get to 20 goals and a century pass went off the stick comes to the near side 522 left to go 5-4 lead Kent out on top Cobb on the DJ Shout out to him. Got a big applause pregame tonight. That backhander, just enough to get it into the zone by Mahar. Taken back 
Stevens. We're down to a minute 51. When do you start thinking about pulling a goaltender in the one goal game? I pull him early usually. I'm, I'm a three minute and down. Right now he's still in for Canterbury. Backhander save. Oh. Rebound was sitting in the crease. Cleared out of the zone. Two on one coming the other way. Roberts on the left in the middle shot. And it went wide. Great chance. Score! The rebound off the board. Hit the goaltender and went in. And Ken has got a two goal lead. Six to four. Wow. A no look behind the back pass from DeJulian to Roberts who ripped it again his fourth or fifth absolute rocket off the glass and off the back of the goalie I don't know that I've seen a play like that ever if not for a long time but Roberts with the hat trick off the glass off the goalie Canterbury will now get a timeout with 129 to play and Ken as you said with its first two goal lead but a beautiful shot by Roberts, and that goes to show you to the kids watching at home. Put the puck on the net. Kent wants to keep everything to the outside. They want to block any shot possible. They want to clear anything out from in front of the net. The Julian will take the face off against Powers. The Julian won it. Hard around off the boards. Not out of the zone. Cleared up, but not out. Centering pass. Gets blocked. Intended for Stewart. Held back in near side. Now they got to clear the zone. Down to just 16 seconds left to go. Empty net at the other end. Shot in wide. Roberts going for four. Yeah, that was, uh, but he was on side, so he wasn't going to get an icing call. Good forecheck pressure. Stewart well, trying to do it around. That's going to do it. Shot deflected wide, and that's the game. And a senior weekend comes to a successful conclusion for the Kent Lions with their seniors celebrating the banquet last night and celebrating a victory 6-4 against Canterbury. Well, we said it all night, one of the most entertaining prep school hockey games I have seen in a long time. We had goals, we had saves, we had great penalty killing from the Lions. We had a lot of skill, a lot of great plays, a lot of great passing. And a lot of fortitude from Kent, let's be honest. Down two, a lot of emotion prior to the game with senior night. Maybe didn't come out as strong as they wanted to. Go down two, come back, tie it up. Then go down again, come back. And led by a hat trick by one Jack Roberts. They come out with the 6-4 win, a huge win for Kent. And a disappointing loss for Canterbury. But this rivalry continues. And you can't ask for more than what you got tonight here on the campus of the beautiful Kent School. A non-power play night <laughs> in the victory for Kent. They never got a power play. They got a shorthanded goal. Well, on the other side, Canterbury ended up with three power play chances, one power play goal, but immediately after that, Kent was able to score one on the shorthanded. So just a great hockey game. I Sometimes you forget, I think, when you're watching these games, you, you start to compare these players to college players you forget these are high school players and to play at this level at, at the speed with which these two teams played is a real tribute to the talent both of these clubs have absolutely tribute to both coaching staffs uh, for recruiting and coaching and developing great players and a tribute to obviously the players on the ice a really entertaining game uh, not too much uh, monkey business as far as penalty goes uh, penalties go and just a real entertaining high-flying hockey game so yep. it's been a pleasure to do this with you Gary and I can't thank you <laughs> enough for coming and agreeing to do this for your grandson's uh, game and you got to see him score his 20th goal and uh, it's just a real special night for yeah. everybody and the seniors will remember this for a long time to come no so will I <laughs> so good. will I good good yep, really enjoyed it uh, with Damian to Julian I'm Gary Thorne thanks everybody for being along with us and here at Kent, once again, our final score. Kent comes away with a 6-4 win over Canterbury. Night all. Good night.